This morning I realized in horror that I was actually working on a project instead of messing with my NeoVim configuration because it's become so stable everything works. So I decided to rewrite everything. And there's this trend kind of going around you might have seen with super minimal NeoVim configurations. People are kind of just like getting rid of all the plugins, getting rid of Mason and Lazy and all that stuff, and just trying to have a very minimal configuration. So I thought I'd follow in their shoes just to be a sheep. What I'm going to do is actually use the Nightly version of NeoVim in this little tutorial, because in Nightly they added a native package manager, which will theoretically replace something like Lazy or Mini Depths or whatever pathogen if you're old enough to remember that and basically what I want to do is have like a very minimal all NeoVim native configuration so I'm going to use NeoVim 12 it might be a little buggy but whatever I'm also going to use like a completely native LSP setup so if you've never like configured NeoVim before this could be a good place to start you will probably learn a bit about the configuration so let's jump into it make sure I'm recording what we want to do first is install the nightly version of NeoVim. And the best way to do that, in my opinion, is with a program called Bob. You can install it with your package manager or cargo. I already have it installed. And what this does is it lets you install and switch NeoVim versions. You can see I have nightly installed already, and I also have like a stable version. So if I go Bob use and then nightly, we'll switch to nightly. And let's also back up our NeoVim configuration. So I'm going to move NVim to NVim Ancient. And now if we open up Vim, we should see the nightly build. We have no plugins or anything. And let's actually just get started. So I'm going to make directory NVim, CD into that. And then I'm going to just open Vim. And then E for edit, init.lua. I'm going to try to go for a one file, just kind of a init.vim, init.lua classic plugin configuration, which is a little weird in this day and age, but whatever. So first let's get numbered lines, vim.op. You can actually complete out of the box with control XO number, and I'll say true. And then we're going to go relative number. Let's see if this is working. I'm going to write with colon W and then you can source your current file with shoutout, so. And then boom, so that looks good. Let's see, what other settings? I don't like wrap, vim.op.wrap equals false. I like vim.op.tab, I think it's tab stop to be four. And I'll probably think of more settings as I go, but those are, those are the big ones. Oh, I don't like vim.opt.swap file. That's really annoying. So I'll turn that off. Uh, oops, I don't know what I did there. Okay. So we're going to be shouting out sourcing this file so much. I'm actually going to add a keybind for that. Oh, and one thing you can do real quick if you want to be really efficient is uh, get rid of those. Vim.o. That works well. So I'm going to do, I'm going to make a keybind for sourcing. So vim dot keybind dot set, and then we're gonna make that a normal mode, and then we're gonna say leader, and then let's do O. That seems intuitive to me. I don't know really why, but I don't use leader O for anything else. So then we're gonna do a command vim no S O. And actually, I probably want to write beforehand. So I'm going to do update. And I'll do source just to be explicit. And both of these are going to need carriage returns, actually. So this is basically saying, OK, when I do leader O, update the file, which is write, but only write if there's been a change, and then source it. And then let's actually create, oh, I'm going to need to set my leader. So vim.g dot map leader I think is the syntax map leader equals and then space so if we write and then shout out let's see key bind oh it's key map so shout out let's see if this works so now okay perfect let's get one going for write too so instead of O we want W and then Inside here, let's just do write carriage return. 
So now we got, hopefully, if I source, yep, that's working. And then let's also do Q for quit. And I'm not gonna quit out because I believe that works. All right, that's great. Let's get a better color scheme going. Uh, the default one is okay, but I like vague. So I have in stock of Vim over here a list of plugins. So you can copy to the system clipboard with quote plus yank yank. And now I should be able to paste that. In NeoVim 12, they added native package management. You can see it with help vim.pack. And basically the syntax is vim.pack.add and then you kind of pass in like either strings or objects with source. And if you pass in objects at source, it allows you to specify other things like git branch. So close that. If we do vim.pack.add and then pass in a Lua table, let's actually make each of these source and then like that, just so that in the future, maybe we can pass ops or something. That's nice. Okay, let's see if this installs. So if we source, you can see this little plugin kind of dialog comes up. And if I type yes, it should install. So now vig is installed, but we actually need to set that as the color scheme. So vim.command, and then I think it's color scheme, vig. Um, did I misspell color? Why didn't that? Cannot find color scheme. Oh, I misspelled vague, yeah. V-A-G-U-E, confusing word. Okay, boom. So that looks nice. One thing is I don't love this purple bar on the bottom. I like that to be transparent. Did not like that. Oh, because there we go. So there, the status line is now gone. That's great. You can see this Packer syntax is kind of interesting. Let's get LSP working, because that'll help us with other stuff. So the current meta, is usually for most people to install LSP config and Mason and then those kind of interface. What LSP config is for beginners is basically a repository of pre-built configurations for your LSP. And yeah, it just allows you to set up LSP easily because each of these LSP servers kind of needs its own unique configuration. And this is just like a data repository of pre-built ones. You don't need it anymore, but I'm still gonna opt to use it here just because Otherwise, you're going to have to manually, every time you want a new language, like go to this repository, hunt down the settings, and then paste it into a file. And I kind of just prefer that to be all handled for me. So let's actually grab the rest of these two while we're at it. Shift plus yank. Paste it in here. OK. So let's indent those. And let's actually do norm and then underscore to go to the first character in the line, i bracket src equals and then that should be good and then we can do control v for verbatim escape and then let's go to f comma i bracket and then boom that looks good to me but don't worry about the formatting we're going to fix that in a minute so this should install oil and mini pick which i'm going to use instead of telescope Basically because Telescope uses plenary and I don't want to bother with dependencies and mini pick is just like a little easier to get working. Okay, so let's shout out with leader O and then, yep, install all those, boom. That looks good. Let's create a command to language format because I, I, like I like things being formatted. I'm used to LF for language format. I don't know, I, I was a, a lunar BIM kind of person, so. I think the command for that is vim.lsp.buff.format, and you can see we can kind of just implicitly pass the function here. And then if I leader lf, oh, no matching language service. That's because now we have to enable it. So you can do that in NeoVim 11 with vim.lsp.enable, and then pass in a table of the names of the language servers. So it's Lua ls, I believe, for Lua. And if we shut that out, we should get LSP started. Nope, we might have to run the restart command. And let's control O to jump back. Did that work? Maybe it's Lua underscore LS actually. Shout that out. Yeah, there we go. So you can now see we have LSP working. 
The thing is, there's a bunch of warnings now with Vim globals. This is a problem that's been plaguing NeoVim for a long time. There's a plugin that lets you get around it called Lazy Dev by Folke, and it basically just tells Lua LS where uh, the NeoVim like runtime types and whatever live. But it's not a huge deal to me. I don't really care, and I think it's just something that should be baked in because I don't want to install Lazy Dev. That's basically a plugin for developing other plugins. I just kind of ignore it, it's fine. All right, so now we have language formatting. You can see that all fixed. We also have oil and mini pick. So let's set up a couple of key maps for those real quick. I'm gonna define those actually below the pack add command. And I'm gonna move my language format command down here too, below uh, the enable. So let's go, I like leader F for find. And I think it's pick find files, so colon pick, and then let's go find, or maybe it's just pick files, carriage return, shout that out, uh, not an editor command, pick files. That's probably because we have to actually require, why is, what's going on with this indenting? Whenever I change something, that's really annoying. Uh, vim o.shift with Oh, I know what that is. We don't have a sign column defined. So I'm going to do vim.o.sign control x o to complete a oh, sign column. There we go. You can use control, uh, you can use control Y to accept, I'm just butterfingering this. Uh, sign, control XO, sign column, control XO. There we go, equals, and then it's yes for some reason instead of true. So we, we shout that out and then we should be okay. Yep, that's nice. All right, so pick files. We actually have to require mini.pick.setup. And while we're at it, let's also do the same for oil. And I think we don't have to do it for anything else. Types preview, maybe, but I'll worry about that later. Okay, so now we shout out again. Let's see, we should have oil, yep. And we should have pick, let's do pick help. Okay, beautiful. But let's actually set up key maps for both of those. So leader F, pick files, yep, that works. And I like, leader h for help so pick help and you can read about mini.pick uh, now actually if i mini.pick now we can read about everything beautiful so that's that's looking pretty nice and we should have lsp pretty much working one thing though is you can install like some kind of completion plugin like Blink or what was the other ones? NVIM CMP. There is Omni complete out of the box with Control X O and there's also like file complete Control X F and that completes like files. You can see if you go in insert mode and do Control X, there's a bunch of different things and you can read all about that with um, Omni complete. And I think it's honestly pretty good. Let's see, we also should have hover working, but one thing with that I don't love is there's no way to really tell what's what, so it'd be good to have borders, and you can do that now in NeoVim 11, I think with vim.o.window, wind borders, wind border, equals, and then let's do border. Shout that out. Oh, maybe, I think it's actually rounded, not border. Okay, so now we shout that out, and we should see if we hover. Okay, that's great. Now you can kind of get a more distinct border around things and actually see what you're doing. Great. Now to get NeoVim LSP autocomplete, there's this command I got off this guy's blog. And what this does is it creates an auto command and tells our OmniComplete about NeoVim LSP completion. And let's enable a couple more language servers also out of the box. So we have Lua LS. Let's also enable Svelte language server. 
and let's enable tiny mist the types language server shout that out cool oh i forgot to define a key map for oil also so let's do leader e for explore and then oil okay that looks good i like oil personally just because you can like do macros and stuff on your file system some people prefer like super minimal net rw nothing wrong with that either let's try out our setup now in like a types file so open up vim now i can find i have a test.type let's see if our completion works with that auto command that basically it sets up completion to automatically expand the control xo thing and then it also does this no select thing because out of the box control xo selects the first thing which is really annoying especially if you have it auto enabled with auto trigger here so let's start typing something and you can see we get lsp complete so i can do set and then page columns to oh that wasn't a thing i don't know you get the idea or i can do yeah, like align center plus horizon. And then let's get a lorem 20. You could use mini pick, some people prefer that. But let's actually create also, I want types preview working. I have this plugin Omni Preview and Vim, but I wrote that when I was a noob and honestly, it's don't even install it. What you can do now instead is use tiny mist, which I think is LSP tiny mist. Yeah, LSP tiny mist and then all these commands for exporting stuff. But if you want the live preview, you're gonna need this plugin called Typest Preview, and it should work if I do Typest Preview. Boom, so we've got a preview going, and you can see the lorem is aligned. So my types development is now set up. Let's see, anything else that you would want? Oh, a lot of people like uh, the commands to copy and paste things easier from the system clipboard so you can do leader and then yank and leader d to shift plus d shift plus yank and then shift that out so now i can do v oh and we actually probably want this in visual mode as well as normal mode so to do that you can surround that with a bracket and then visual and I think also probably want visual block mode. Yank inside block, V around those, paste. Oh, I should have, that was dumb. I can just add these manually. Okay, so now I forgot to source. Source, V, leader, yank, and now we should have it in the system clipboard, great. So that's honestly all you really need to get things working pretty well. It's, it's a little basic and you could install, install like blank CMP if you wanted more like symbols and stuff or you could install like dev icons or whatever. I don't, I don't really love those. So yeah, this works for me. I've got language formatting. I've got that all set up. There are a couple tweaks you might have to do here and there with the LSP configs. And this is also quite minimal. I don't have like Lua snip or anything. I'm gonna keep like iterating on this as I go. But yeah, that's that's all the basics you need. And you can see this has got complete working LSP in 40 lines with a bunch of plugins. Well, not a bunch of plugins, just the plugins you need. Yeah, I'll probably make more videos as I find things I want to actually add. But for now, everything is working pretty well.